skills. Critical thinking. Knowledge, skills, and attitudes are important tools needed for learners to be competent. The days are gone when learners are only taught the knowledge. Today, teaching is learner-centered. This is why the Lagos State Technical and Vocational Board organized this program to train teachers on outcome-based education. What this is trying to get our teachers to do is to reflect on the way they have been um, teaching our students and to, re to reflect on it and to think that is the current way that they are teaching the students, is it relevant to the 21st century? Is it relevant in terms of the requirements of the um, industries at the moment? Does it really meet the learning of these uh, young students? And having done that, we've now decided that somehow this, well, the way we have been working and training our students, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't really fit into that 21st century mold. So as a result of that, they have been going through a number of different practical, knowledge-based and even theoretical-based approaches to making sure that our, uh, our um, training is more relevant to today's world of work. Outcome-based education pays attention to the outcome of learning rather than passing examinations. It's an holistic education. Education that deals with the, the knowledge, the skills, the competency, and it's actually based on the outcome, focusing on the outcome of a learning, rather than focusing on passing exam. You know, and then um, also it is also a, a, a kind of learning that is it is learner centered. Some of the methods that we have highlighted today will ensure that the students achieve KSA, knowledge, skills and attitude, because the attitude is very important. That attitude is always skipped by teachers and that is one of the major problems we have in Nigeria today. Many of our graduates, they have the knowledge, they have the skill, but the attitude is very poor. So if you have knowledge and skills and your attitude is very bad, you cannot find a place in the labor market. Topics taught include comparing roles of teachers and the 21st century facilitator of learning, how to become a facilitator, measurable outcome, assessment opportunities, and classroom experience. There's a paradigm shift right now, and there's a call for teachers to become techno-savvy, um, to be able to accomplish tasks that they weren't able to um, accomplish in the traditional classroom. So uh, the lecture has been impactful, and I saw a lot of um, motivations and zeal on the part of the um, teachers. So it's um, really interesting to note that they are eager to upskill. Speakers say with outcome-based education, students will be well equipped to solve present and future challenges. Whether we like it or not, in the United future, those ground that have been lost by the students, if not cover, we affect their capability. But if technology is integrated, whatever they might have lost, this can be used to recover the grant. So I will encourage them to be a continuous learner because anytime anybody stops learning, that person starts dying. So they should continue to improve on whatever they have gained in this workshop. And uh, if they don't put it to practice, definitely they will not improve on it. Participants shared lessons learned with Education Report on TV. I've learned a lot. I've learned that facilitating will be possible in our uh, government techn technical colleges. Because initially we've been using most of these OBE styles, but we were not aware. But now we were made to know that education should be centered on uh, learners and not teacher-based. Because it's all about the learner. You want them to learn, you must involve them in the activities and you must allow them to partake in different methodologies that will encourage them to take active role in the learning process. I've been able to realize that when you are teaching a student, the, the, that particular student has to acquire the experience. That particular experience is the knowledge. The knowledge acquires during the process of that particular teaching. And also the skill. Apart from that particular knowledge and skill, what about the attitude? 
in the case of attitude, it is the way it's going to, inter to interact with the entire society at large. We've been told that it's better to facilitate than to teach. Te to facilitate means our teaching should be student-centered. Students should be allowed to fully participate, to be involved in the, in the learning process. They can choose their, their own methods, they can discover things themselves. When they actively participate in, in the process of learning, they learn better. The two-day event on outcome-based education is expected to equip participants on effective teaching methods and in turn prepare the students for the workplace.